What's a fixed rate mortgage versus an adjustable rate mortgage? Or maybe, what will my rate be? Or what am I paying when I pay my mortgage payment? Or what's PMI? And will my monthly payments change during the loan term? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Realty Group, and these are just some of the questions that I'm gonna to answer today. So first off, what is the difference between a fixed rate mortgage and an adjustable rate? For a fixed rate mortgage, the interest will actually stay the same throughout the life of the loan. The most common fixed rate mortgages are for 15 and 30 years versus an adjustable rate mortgage, which is otherwise known as an ARM, and this means that the monthly payments can either go up or down. Generally, the initial interest rate is actually lower than comparable fixed rate products, and we call this the teaser rate. After that teaser period ends, that's when we'll ultimately see interest rates go up or down based off of what's currently going on in, in the mortgage market. So your expected utilization of a property will ultimately determine, you know, what is the right decision for me and, and what type of mortgage should I get? I will, however, note that historically speaking, interest rates are at all time lows. And really there's no other place for interest rates to go but up. So what is my interest rate gonna be? Now, this is a tough question to answer, especially if you're further out on the curve in regards to buying a house. If you're just getting pre-approved, do not worry about this question right now because ultimately a bank's rate is going to change from day to day. One bank, that bank you're talking to, might have the most competitive rate, but tomorrow they might not be actually as competitive. This is why I say don't worry about the rate, just progress focus on the pre-approval, let's find the perfect house for you, and at that point, that's when we'll go rate shopping. But rate shopping and the actual interest rate on the house you're buying isn't the only cost that you should be worried about. You should also be looking at closing costs because sometimes you'll actually see where a bank is offering a slightly lower and better rate and make it look like a great deal, but their closing costs are gonna be a lot higher. So we need to factor in closing costs in order to ultimately get you the best deal. So when you make a mortgage payment, what are you most likely paying? And I have to say most likely because there will be some variance based off, based off of the different types of mortgage products out there. Some mortgage companies, they may make you pay property taxes or homeowner, homeowner's insurance directly, but other mortgage companies, and this is for the most part, will actually include the principal interest as well as the property taxes and insurance costs into your monthly payment. So how does that work? Well, each month the mortgage company will actually collect a 12th of your property taxes as well as your insurance payment. Another aspect that could be in your loan is uh, PMI, and this is for homeowners who might have put less than 20% down. So generally when I start talking about PMI, the next question I get is, hey, what is PMI? And that's private mortgage insurance. And this is what's known as PMI, which the borrower might be required to pay for if they have a conventional loan. PMI now, it protects the lender, not the borrower, should the borrower stop making payments on the loan. PMI, it's usually required when a borrower puts down less than 20%, and it can either be a monthly payment, however, some banks will actually allow you to pay it in one upfront premium. Another great question I hear is, will my monthly payments change during the loan term? A big part of this is, did you get a fixed rate mortgage or an adjustable rate mortgage? If you got the adjustable rate mortgage, they're definitely changing and they could have huge swings. If you got a fixed rate product, ultimately the answer is no for principal and interest. They're gonna be a fixed rate, but your mortgage payment might be adjusted a little bit based off of taxes and insurance that your mortgage company might be paying. So if you see an increase in your taxes and your insurance rates, well, then ultimately you're gonna see that slight increase in your mortgage payment. I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Realty Group. At the Chubb Realty Group, our philosophy is we're here to make moving easier. Should you have any questions regards to the mortgage process or the home buying process, we'd love to chat with you. The best number to reach us at is 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great day.